What's up, YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be going over all the character classes that are possible in Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Don't forget to smash that like button, smash that sub button, drop a comment. Thanks. So this game just came out, and I think it'd be very important to go over all these characters so you don't end up with a trash character. You know what I'm saying? You wanna have the best time possible. So let's find out what we got. Right now we got the Stabomancer. Class Feet, Dirty Fighting. The Fate Maker's critical hit chances increase. Great for, you know, stabbing. So this guy's a stabber. His action skills is a ghost blade. The Fate Maker throws out a ghost blade which spins into place dealing melee damage to nearby enemies based on the Fate Maker's equipped melee weapon. Pressing G while Ghost Blade is active causes it to teleport to the targeted location. That's cool. And the last action skill is from the shadows. The Fate Maker enters stealth, turning it invisible. While in stealth, all damage dealt is automatically a critical hit. But critical hits deal reduced damage. Huh? Well, this guy likes to stab people. That's cool. Next, the Clawbringer. Alright, his class feat. Wavering Companion. The Clawbringer is accompanied by a wyvern companion. The f you get a companion. Cool. It attacks enemies with its claws and fire breath. Okay. His action skills are cleansing flames. The Fate Maker summons their hammer and slams it into the ground, dealing melee damage and creating a massive fire nova. Dealing fire ability damage to nearby enemies. Um, alright. It also has... Storm Dragon's Judgment. The Fate Maker summons their hammer and hurls it, dealing lightning melee damage to all enemies it touches. It sticks wherever it lands and deals lightning ability damage every second to all nearby enemies. We scroll down. Pressing G recalls the hammer. Oh, cool. so that kind of reminds me of Thor. So, so far we have a hammer doodle spells and someone who likes to stab. Nice. Next we have Spell Shot. Spell, spell Weaving. Casting a spell reloading grants the Fate Maker a stack of spell weaving increasing spell damage. Spell weaving attacks. Spell weaving stacks automatically decay after a few seconds. Does that even make sense? Was that proper English? I don't even know. Polymorph. The Fate Maker magically turns an enemy into a harmless skeep for a few seconds. Why not sheep? And the last one is Ambihextrius. The Fate Maker may equip a second spell in their inventory. Alright, so this guy is just a magician, you know? He does spells. Next, we got the Graveborn. This guy looks cool. He's got a, a Demi Lich Companion. So he has a companion that targets enemies at range and deals dark magic damage. Kind of like that other guy. Dire Sacrifice. The Fate Maker sacrifices a portion of their health to deal dark magic ability damage and apply dark magic status effects to all nearby enemies. So this guy is a dark guy. One of those... Okay. Okay, cool. I don't know. I, he's like the evil wizard, I guess. Action skills. Reaper of Bones. The Fate Maker is fully healed. The Fate Maker is fully healed. Gains increased leech efficiency. And deals bonus dark magic damage. But their health takes an inc ever increasing amount of damage per second. What? Okay. That just sounds confusing. But. That's kind of trash. I don't like how he. How it costs health. To deal damage. I hate that. I always, I always, I've always hated that in every game. Up next, we have a Spore Warden. He has a Mushroom Companion that targets nearby enemies and deals poison damage. Nice. His action skills are Barrage and Blizzard. The Fate Maker summons an Ethereal Bull firing, firing seven arrows. An Ethereal Bull that fires seven arrows that deal ability damage on impact. Arrows ricochet twice between nearby enemies. So this guy is an archer. And we also have Blizzard. The Fate Maker creates three Frost Cyclones for a duration that seek out nearby enemies dealing Frost ability damage over time. Alright, this guy is a, a IC Archer or something like that. And for the last one, we have Berserker. This guy looks like a Titan. Rage of the Ancients. An action skill start, the Fate Maker becomes enraged. Being enraged adds bonus frost damage to their attacks. So this guy is just melee. Dreadwind and Feral Surge. Fate Maker spins, slash anything nearby with their melee weapon. And essentially becoming a pain tornado. 
and the fate maker leaps towards their target dealing frost ability damage to all nearby enemies that is this guy is uh yeah this guy's like melee brute force i'm probably gonna have to go with a stable man so out of everybody well that's an overview of all the character selections in tiny tina's wonderland i'm not trying to spoil the whole game yet well i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helps you pick your character peace